Hey everyone, Jason here, Aspiring Entrepreneur, and today we are putting to rest all of those builder all questions that I've been getting in the comments. I've been trying my best to kind of put this off, but I think it's a long time overdue. So we're gonna change things up a bit, walk downstairs to one of the conference rooms, try a yellow board and really put to rest all of the builder all and just general landing page software as a service uh, and funnel page builder questions that I've been getting in the comments on a lot of the review videos. So I just wanted to kind of make this video for everyone and just kind of put to rest the differences between a hosted solution or software as a service like Builderall and a WordPress site like Optimize Press or Thrive Theme. So I wanna do two things in this video. Number one, I want to distill down the only two key differences between a SaaS application like Builderall. By the way, you can fill in the blank with whatever software you're thinking of. I'm just gonna use Builderall for this example. And so distill down the two differences between Builderall and WordPress or Optimize Press or, or Thrive Themes, and then explain why with a silly car example, why I think this is the way to go. So kicking things off, with the main two differences between these two is speed and control. Speed, there's two elements to this. Number one, speed of the page loading because the pages that you build for your sales funnel with a software as a service application are going to be significantly faster than those with a WordPress site. So hands down, out of the box, this is going to be faster, this is going to be much better load times on your sales pages and your landing pages, which is really important when you're driving cold traffic. I'm not gonna gloss over that, that's very important. Speed number two, element number two, has to do with speed of implementation because these software as a service things like Builderall allow you to put together your entire sales funnel and marketing process relatively quickly. In fact, extremely quickly, much more, much more efficient than what you would see when you're putting together WordPress for the first time. Key is the first time. And what most people don't know is that everything that you see here, all of the complexities of the different things you can do with your funnels and your landing pages, you can do with WordPress. So when it comes to feature sets, there's nothing that the SaaS application can do that WordPress can't do and vice versa. So these two in terms of features and, and flexibility, pretty much the same. If you're looking to just purchase SaaS applications that do everything for you versus a WordPress site, I would actually go and say a WordPress site is even more flexible because you can easily add multiple themes and plugins, but just for simplicity's sake, you can build your entire sales funnel with both of them. So it's, it's, it's the same in terms of feature set. The main difference is speed, the two speed factors that I just talked about, speed of pages and speed of learning and control. Because WordPress, you control this entire process. And by the way, you, if you want to be successful online with your content marketing, you probably already have a WordPress site. That's what this jumble is supposed to represent, a WordPress site. So it's not too much harder to use an asset that you already own and control and add a revenue generating asset on the back end, aka your, your sales funnel or, or marketing process. And so that does it for the main two differences is you're really just paying for speed when it comes to software as a service. That's what you're paying for. Faster pages and a easier learning curve. However, while this takes probably a day or two to learn, this probably takes a week or two to learn. So it's not a huge difference, but if you're really impatient, here you go. So let me go through this, that uh, silly race car example that I talked about in the beginning. Imagine for a second that you are, your, your business is a race car team and you're, you know, you're the master commander, you're the one driving the car. Now imagine a race car driver who has no idea how to change an oil. Imagine a race car driver who has no idea how an engine works. I'm not saying that they have to be able to take it apart and put it back together, right? But they just, they don't know what's going on underneath the hood. That is what Builderall sells you. Builderall sells you, you can be a race car driver without understanding how a car works. WordPress asks you to understand how the car works. It doesn't necessarily ask you to understand, to be able to put the car back together again, but it does ask you how the car works. Now, imagine, take it a step further. Imagine that race car driver actually didn't act, doesn't actually own the mechanism for being successful. That they have to, they, they go to Enterprise or Alamo or, or National, what, whatever, fill in the blank, and they, they go and rent rent their car. We'll just imagine that those places rent, rent race cars for a second. So not only do does the race car driver not know how this works from a back-end perspective, they also don't own the mechanism for the success. 
So imagine what happens if all of a sudden the, the place they're renting from changes the rules, changes the rates, or says, ah, you know what, actually, we don't offer that anymore. You go, uh, well, I need, I need, uh. That won't happen with WordPress because with WordPress, you control everything. You have 100% control. Does it require a little bit of extra work? Yes. However, in the cost breakdown that I'll do at the end of this video, you'll see that even if you need to hire a developer to help you, you are still going to be money ahead when compared to paying for things like Builderall or ClickFunnels or lead pages, you know, fill in the blank. And so it's a silly example, yes, but it kind of gets a point across that if you want to be successful long term with your business, you need to understand the back end of how these things work. You don't have to know how to code. You don't need to know HTML. That's not what I'm saying. Optimize Press and Thrive Themes allows you to build this entire process now that I've <laughs> taken that down with, without any HTML. And of course, you can always fill in the blanks with their support. However, settling for no control just so you can have some faster load times or you can get up and running a week earlier than you could with WordPress is definitely not worth it. And now let's quickly go through the pricing differences because I think this is really going to make the choice crystal clear when it comes to speed versus control. And of course I'm going to spell SAS correctly this time like I did not on the whiteboard downstairs. So the first chart I want to show you is assuming that you are starting from scratch and you don't have a WordPress site yet. So I have Optimize Press, Thrive Themes, and Beaver Builder. These are kind of the top choices when it comes to digital marketing and having a page builder and a WordPress theme. Then I have Builderall, ClickFunnels, Inst Lead Pages, and Instapage. And so the columns here are pretty self-explanatory. I'll focus on the speed and the developer hours. Oh, R was cut off, whoops. So the speed, premium speed, is how much more you're paying per year for these SaaS applications compared to a WordPress solution. So I'm assuming the WordPress solution is gonna cost you around 200 bucks, and I'm leaving the 47.50 a year of hosting out of this example because you're gonna be paying that no matter which way you go because you're going to have to have a WordPress site. But let's just use these three themes and plugins as an example. And as you can see here, the last column, the developer hours, shows you how much you could get from a WordPress developer at about $25 an hour if instead of paying the premium for these hosted solutions, you went with a WordPress solution and then you have all this extra money left over to either drive traffic to your website or hire a WordPress developer to do things for you. Even at six hours, you could have a WordPress developer build all of the pages for you. So you'll even actually wind up saving more time. But let's say for example, you already have your WordPress theme set up and you're just looking at the page building aspect of it. Well, the numbers get even better. You knock off a pretty much $100 off of the speed premium and now you have even more time for hiring a developer because the premium you pay is even more. WordPress plugins like Optimize Press and Thrive Themes for less than 100 bucks, you get all of the page building capabilities that you need to put together a sales funnel. Now, the last example that I wanna go through here is assuming that you already have a WordPress site set up, you're just looking at the landing page capabilities, but you want the landing pages to be just as fast as the SaaS applications. So what I've done here is I've added an extra $302 a year for WP Engine, their basic hosting, and this includes an SSL certificate as well, which means you can do shopping cart stuff on your site, as well as a content delivery network, which means your pages are going to be just as fast as what you would get, if not faster, with the SaaS applications. And as you can see here, even with that premium, Builderall is only going to save you $44 a year, and the WordPress plus the performance hosting is still cheaper than the other three options. So I ran through this relatively quickly. I might do a video that goes more in depth into the different pricing, but I just wanted to show you that even with premium performance WordPress hosting, it still makes sense to go with WordPress. You barely save 44 bucks with Builderall, and guess what? You're giving up all of that control on your site. So I'm curious to hear from you what your thoughts on this is, and especially if you have any contradictions to something I've shared in this video. We could get a great discussion and deb civil debate going on in the comment section. I read and reply to every single one. I sincerely hope this was helpful in showing you guys really the power and difference between WordPress and the SaaS applications out there, and showing you that WordPress can be just as fast and still 
more economical than these SaaS applications. So if you have any questions about this, as always, go ahead and comment below and hit that like button if you got some value out of this video. And until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.